Hi guys, here's a little tip for everyone working on anchoring design in reinforced concrete with a nice demo created by our friends at Idea Statica. Modeling anchor blocks for complex support conditions has long been limited by the geometric constraints of detailing tools. In real world structures, it's common to encounter non-rectangular pedestals, foundation extensions, anchoring near slab or wall openings, and overlapping anchorage zone. Standard modeling methods struggle to handle these situations, often requiring workarounds that compromise accuracy or constructability. Additionally, when dealing with reinforced detailing, in such cases, reliable geometry is crucial. Idea Statica Detail now addresses these challenges with two new modeling operations for cuts. Negative volume enables removal of material based on a defined 3D shape. Cutting plane slices the block to create uh, clean planar surfaces. You'll find these operations under the model entity menu. After cutting, newly created surfaces and edges can be used to define reinforcement, giving you more control over detailing. It's also now possible to import multiple anchor blocks from Idea Statica connection. In cases where blocks overlap, they can be merged using the cut operation and adjusted to function as a single reinforced unit. Let's take a look at how these tools are used in practice with a short demo inside Idea Statica Detail created by Jean Valente at Idea Statica. In this video we will make use of this simple rectangular concrete block base plate anchoring into a triangular concrete block foundation with a pedestal. In this example, the anchors near the edge are overutilized. Click on the icon RC check to export this joint connection to Idea Statica Detail 3D and we will use the new Boolean operation features available in version 25.0. To create our desired shape of a triangular concrete block that includes the pedestal, we have to increase the thickness of the exported concrete block depending on the height of pedestal and thickness of footing. We can achieve the desired shape by making use of the cut operation. But to do this, first we have to create a shape of negative volume following where we intend to cut the outline of the desired shape. In order to create the shape of the pedestal, we have to apply negative volume at the edges. Now that the shapes of negative volumes are already in position, we will use the operation cut to cut into the concrete block and form the shape of the pedestal. To form the shape of a triangular footing, we will make use of a model entity called Cutting Plane. In order to follow the desired shape, we need to position the cutting plane by adjusting the parameter where we intend to cut. To do this, we need to identify the correct surfaces and edges. To change the direction or orientation of the cutting plane, we need uh, we have to adjust the position of the axis geometry. Now that we have placed it in the desired position, it's time to slice it by using the cut operation. To adjust the shape of the support in order to follow the triangular shape, uncheck the option related to original surface. Now that we have created the desired shape of the concrete block that includes the pedestal, let's, uh, let's review the anchors and if necessary make the necessary adjustments.
Now it's time to model the reinforcement according to detail of the footing. Modeling the reinforcement in Idea Statica Detail 3D is relatively quick and easy due to its uh, user-friendly interface, as you see here. While there are plenty of alternatives in modeling reinforcement, in this example, all we have to do is to input the geometry of the reinforcement following the surface shape of the concrete block. This way is much uh, easier. Now, let's start by creating reinforcement for the pedestal. For main reinforcement of pedestal, we'll make use of 16 mm diameter bar. Modify the orientation of the reinforcement by adjusting the parameters to its related surface. The length can be adjusted according to first and last edge. Bar bends can be visualized by applying the anchorage type at the end of the reinforcement. Let's add ties to the main reinforcement of the pedestal. Here we'll use 10 mm diameter with standard hook spaced at 50 millimeters. We will use 12 millimeter di diameter for footing reinforcement. Now that pedestal reinforcement is done, it's time to add desired reinforcement to the footing. For the purpose of demonstrating the reinforcement modeling capabilities of uh, detail 3D, such as bar bending and automatic shaping following the edges of concrete, I will exaggregate the number of reinforcement for better uh, visualization. Following the same procedure in uh, modeling the pedestal, we will also model the reinforcement of the footing by to uh, follow the shape of the surface of the concrete block. Depending on the size and shape of the concrete block, the cutting length of the reinforcement will automatically follow the shape of the concrete block, thereby saving you time for the inputs. The shape of the reinforcement can also be modified according to the sequence of the edges in concrete block. Now that the reinforcement modeling is done, it's time to calculate. Just hit the calculate button to start the calculation. Once analysis is completed, 
we can view the results under the check tab. In the summary, we can visualize the stress flow inside the concrete block. Under code check for strength, we can visualize the principal stresses in the concrete from outside as well as inside by creating a section plane. We can also view the stresses in reinforcement as well as the bond stress of the reinforcement and the anchorings. And also the deformed shape of the concrete block is shown here. Now the report can be generated with option to generate a brief or a detailed report. And you can see how it looks here. Thanks for watching. And again, special thanks to Jean Valenta at Ideasetica for creating the demo video and helping illustrate how these tools can be applied in practice. See you later.